been on and off for a while because Rita's so fancy with Facebook Live. So Rita has another commitment and she's hoping to join us around 545. We'll see if that happens. I just want to thank everybody for being here tonight. I'm glad you hopped on, even though it was in a different room. Hopefully that wasn't too difficult to figure out. Um, Rita chose the topic this week because she really wanted to talk about it. Um, but hopefully she can add her, her comments here in a little bit. Um, so the topic is on Stop, Challenge, and Choose. How many of you guys have read Dr. A's ebook specifically on Stop, Challenge, Choose? I have, but it's been a while. So I hadn't ever been all the way through it, and I will admit that I just skimmed through it. Um, and a lot of the information is in our life book as well as you go through the elements. But there are some interesting things that he presents just in the Stop, Challenge, Choose book that I don't remember reading in the life book, or maybe it's presented in a little bit different way. Um, I definitely think it's worth it to, to go through it. So the way he starts the life book is um, he just says, stop, take a deep breath and silence the chaos. How are things going? If this was your last day on earth, how would you say you are doing in relation to all the things that are most important in your life? So that's kind of a big wake up call right there. It was kind of like when I first started reading the life book in element one, and there's that whole evaluation on all the areas of your life. Um, how, would you feel if this was your last day on earth or are you where you want to be are you doing the things you want to do um and he talks about those three key areas of well-being which is physical health healthy weight eating and moving sleeping relaxation and your safe and healthy environment um and it says both at home and at work which is kind of interesting because Hopefully everyone has a healthy work environment, but I know that that can be a stressor for a lot of people too. Mental health is another category. Do you have strong relationships, community involvement, time for spirituality, engagement and motivation at your job or hobbies? Um, and then financial health is the other aspect of it. And there's a lot, I mean, everybody has their own idea of what financial health is, but are you living a life of abundance, debt-free? Uh, do you have savings in retirement, enough for a child's education? Do you have enough money to do the things you want and to make long-term investments? Do you have the resources to create experiences and memories with family and friends? Are you successfully managing your economic life of steady income and cash flow? Do you do community contributions? And all of those, I mean, some things may not be important to you that are to others, and that's totally fine. But his whole point in the Stop, Challenge, Choose, and our whole Optavia program is having health in all three of those areas and whatever that health means to you. Um, in the ebook, there's actually an evaluation that you can do on those three areas. Um, it's kind of interesting. So how do you guys use Stop, Challenge, Choose? I immediately went to food, which a lot of us do, but there's so much more than that, as he talks about with mental health. Deanne mentioned it as well, um, the financial health aspect. Um, I actually would like Deanne to share because she and I are kind of similar in um, changes outside of food. Do you remember what you put? Uh yeah, pretty much. Um, so yeah, when when I first, like, you know, I've been at this for a little while, it's been three and a half years, it'll be four years in April. So I know when I first started, the Stop Challenge Choose was all about, for me, it was all about food, you know, and choices that I was making that way, daily choices. Um, but now, like when you mentioned it, I, I didn't even really think of food. I do still Stop Challenge and Choose, but it to me, it's so much more right now, currently, about 
just like conversations that I have with friends or coworkers or even strangers sometimes, you know, I just like, there's this whole drama triangle thing, you know, and it is so easy to get drawn into drama. And I don't, I don't want to be a part of it, you know, and I'm not saying I never am, you know, cause I'm human, <laughs> but it's, it's just, it makes me look at different situations, um, people's situations. I feel like I've been pretty heavily, like, I feel like I'm a pretty empathetic person, but you know, not everybody is. And so it's so easy for people to complain and whine, you know, whine or, or share stories about people. They really don't know the situation or the story. And so, and, and actually it becomes a challenge because it, it never feels like I try to turn it around. Like I always try to turn the situation around. Like, like, well, you know, whatever. And I know people get annoyed by that from me sometimes because like, I don't, I get it. Like life is hard. And so, you know, um, I see where the other person is coming from nine times out of 10, not always, you know, but anyway, so yeah, I just noticed like with stop challenge and choose that um, it's about so much more than that. And I find it with my kids, you know, I used to lose my, <laughs> lose my cool so quickly with them. And I still do sometimes, but not nothing like I used to. It's like, okay, you know, um, I used to not have a very, I have very short fuse with their nonsense. <laughs> so anyway, just a little but but again, like it, it, it affects me in the long run too, and them too. So, yeah. <clears throat> yes. So when you mentioned your kids, that's one big area for me. I am quick to anger. I still am, but it's not as often. And what used to seem like big issues are not anymore. And part of it is just simply feeling better overall that I'm I'm not already in a bad mood because I don't feel good, but I I don't know. I look at a lot of stuff and I'm like, is that really worth it? <laughs> and mm -hmm. I didn't used to be like that. And I do think part of it is stop challenge and choose. Like, mm -hmm. is this really worth getting upset about? And I, don't get me wrong. I don't do that every time. My husband just got mad at me the other night because I snapped when he didn't think it was called for. And it probably wasn't. But you know, we're all human. It's going to happen, yeah. but it's a lot different than it used to be. I, three years ago, a lot different. So thank you. Yeah. Stop challenge and choose is about every area of your life. And I know there's an element that Dr. A talks about all the different things you can do, um, with emotions, with food, with finances, all of that kind of thing. So thanks, Dean. Um, Sheila. Do you want to share when you use Stop, Challenge, Choose? It can be what you posted or if you've thought of something else. Well, um, usually my Stop, Challenge, and Choose is whenever I go out to eat uh, or like this week, my husband and I had to be out of town because we had a doctor's appointment, so we had to stay overnight. And so I would go on to, I, I would seek out a restaurant that I know that is on the list of the um, dining out guide. And I'll just scroll through that and see what on there that is approved on program and what I'm into, you know, so. Um, yeah, I still there. look at, at restaurant menus a lot too. Uh, if I can, if I'm not familiar with the restaurant, or even if I am, I still try to go through and pick out what I think is my best option before I get there. What else yeah. were you going to say? Um, well, there were, I'm, I'm, you know, like I'm everyone else, I'm human. And I am really bad at emotional eating if I get stressed and I'll reach for chocolate or ice cream or something like that. I know it's not good, but in the moment, I'm not thinking. And then later on, I find out, you know, my body really doesn't like it. So I actually wrote down a note to myself. This is how I feel in this moment when I ate this. 
remember this moment. And so next time when that, that comes around and I'm really tempted to eat some of that, I go back to that note that is that worth feeling like this? And so that's how I eat cup challenging shoes whenever I'm really stressed and I really want to eat something that's really not on program. I write, I go back to that note and remember how did it make me feel the last time? I think I need to do that too. That's awesome. Do you stick it on like the box of food that made you feel that way or where do you have it posted? <laughs> I have it on my phone. Oh, yeah. And so I'm, I'm, and I always have the phone with me everywhere I go because right. either the kids are contacting me or Gary or my dad, you know, I've got to have, to, I've got to have some way of getting, being gotten a hold of so perfect thanks for sharing how about ashley are you able to chat yeah i can sorry i was stirring um so i'm ashley miller and i've been on since may of 2021 and i've lost about 50 pounds um i would say a big thing that you stop challenge and choose for is food um and i still do that but just listening to everybody else, I mean, I kind of agree with Kathy, what you said about just feeling better. So you're not as quick with your kids. Cause I feel that way. Like I remember before, like it could be the littlest thing and I would just go off the wall, you know, about something. And I don't quite do that anymore. And I think sometimes with stop challenge choose, you don't realize you're doing it either. It just, uh, after you've been doing it for so long, um and then just kind of listening to everybody too i think i actually use it more at work now that i've been listening to it <laughs> um just because i kind of forget about it but like the little things which granted i'm a manager and some of the little things i do have to address but then sometimes i'm like is it worth me making that person upset enough to quit their job over something real silly you know what i mean like i so you know in, in the long run it's better for me to maybe address it in a different way, you know, it's kind of like a challenge, you know, like, okay, how can I address that situation? So I was just kind of thinking about that. And I guess, I mean, I think lately too, I've been kind of doing it kind of in a financial aspect too. Like I kind of stop and like, do I need to buy that or should I wait, you know, down the road? But I mean, that's kind of one thing. Um, I also posted that I've been kind of using it to make sure I get more healthy motion in because yep. there's a lot of days where I just want to come home and just not do anything but I make myself because I know I feel better in the long run and like on the weekends too I've been trying to make sure I get more steps in on the weekend and it's easy to just you know focus on other things or whatever so that's kind of what Absolutely. I've been using stop challenge to use for those are all great things to share. Thank you. You covered everything that I mentioned. <laughs> How about Dina? You're in the dark, but I, I know you're still there. <laughs> I can turn I can turn the light no, on. You're fine. You're I'm fine. just sitting in the parking lot and I didn't want to sit here with the light on with everybody watching me. So um yeah, I I have to say I am not trained to use stop challenging and choose, but I think I should be, and I am looking forward to um, using it. And now that you guys are mentioning it in other parts of your lives, I'm very interested in, in starting doing, to do something like that. And then also reading the more book? about it. Um, I do have it. I haven't read it yet, but I, I did just get it just recently, but I haven't, okay. um, I work, I work for an accountant and it's tax season. So oh, right. I probably won't be able to <laughs> read it for a little while, but. <laughs> so element four is really where it gets into stop, challenge, choose. And element four through six, I think really focuses on that. I mean, it's in the whole life book, but Rita posted a PDF a couple of weeks ago and we can probably repost it or tag you in it on her page. That is just the stop, uh -huh. challenge, choose ebook where I got some of this information from. What else were you going to share? Okay. Um, I think that's it. I think basically everybody's covered what, you know, especially going out to eat. That's when I think of it most. Right. So. Right. Thank you. I'm glad you're here even during tax season. <laughs> <laughs> About Heather, can you chat at the moment? 
Uh, yes, I can for a minute. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just doing a drive through to get my kids something to eat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, space? Oh, I'm up next. Can you catch me here in just a minute? Yes, I can. That's fine. Go ahead and okay. mute and I'll get, I'll go to Stephanie. Yep. Hi. Stephanie. I'm Stephanie. I've been on program since uh, April of 22. I'm down about 65 pounds. I have been using Stop Challenge and Choose mostly with food lately, but I definitely find myself, like Ashley said, using it in everything. It's a very good habit to have that I need to improve on, but um, I love it. It, it makes you well more aware and it gives you time to think of the consequences, good or bad, or both, on what you're doing. And I, I struggle with that on occasion. Sometimes I'm really good at it. And other times when I've let myself slack, it makes it harder to pick back up. Why I do it, I don't know. Life, I just do. Um, I wish I had that golden answer. But uh, us do. no, <laughs> it I is. It's life. Yeah. So, you know, and you get things that happen and bumps in the road that you're like, oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's deal with that. And then we just go right back, but you can also use it for that. Like I recently had some things go on and I didn't know why I was struggling in the weight loss and other things. And it, it came up as, okay, well, that might be it. So let's just continue to move forward and learn from that and do better. So it, it's just a do better next time. Yep. Making the best choice you can every time. Right. So yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Rita, since Heather might still be in the drive through do you want to share I can. Hi, I can. you made it. Since Hi. this was your topic, I'm sure you have something to share on. Well, it seems like we just have to talk about it a lot because maybe it's just me, but I just always need to be in the forefront of my mind because choices always happen and sometimes good choices, sometimes bad choices. And, you know, I think the, um, the bottom line with what Dr. A is trying to get us to do is stop and disconnect your um, old habits and, uh, you know, give yourself, you know, just, just that little disconnect in order to like, okay, you know, what is it that I want to do? Um, and then make a choice. And sometimes we don't make the right choices, but and, and I certainly don't, don't, and I certainly still need to remember to stop. I, I, that's the hardest part is the stop and, and then like take a breath. You know, he talks about, you know, I should post that, that video of Dr. A doing his quick little stop challenge choose. And he's like, just take a breath, take a breath before you make a decision and uh, you know good or bad so you know i i posted that darn christmas candy and you know why am i looking at that it, it is february and that darn bowl of christmas candy you know I had the little bitty bars you know could have been just pop one in your mouth and go and i'm like why am i still looking at those so i'm not looking at those anymore so i, I you know, that I guess that was my challenge was, you know, quit putting yourself through it and get rid of it. So, so there you go. What I read in the ebook reminded me of something I told Dee in the week after Christmas, and it's absolutely not what you're supposed to do. But he said, Dr. A talks about just throwing the junk out, which thankfully you did. I said, I'm going to eat it all up before I throw it out. <laughs> And I did, and it wasn't pretty, and I felt miserable for two weeks. And but you know, that was the choice at the time. I felt miserable looking at it, 
and and you know i felt the the haunting of it and what's one and you know so so i'm like let's quite quit putting yourself through that so moving on right yes still yes. still far from perfect but that was that was a big step for me this week yeah that's wonderful that's i have a really hard time throwing out chocolate i really do okay yeah Heather, did you make it through the drive through? Maybe not. Okay, that's fine. So I was going to share, I think I've gotten through everybody. Mom is just listening. Um, Dr. A, in the end of that life or in that uh, Stop, Challenge, Choose ebook, talks about food is just simply a habit. So this is normal for us. We eat without paying attention. We use it as a stress reliever, as a reward, as a boredom reliever, as a social facilitator, as love and food just because it's there. So, I mean, this is normal how we've all been raised and it is a challenge to change it. Um, the last piece I was gonna mention is about creating habit loops to ward off the bad habits. So breathing exercises or stopping and taking a drink of water before reacting emotionally um, or eating that candy bar or throwing that dang candy bar out. Um, but yeah, there's lots of different habit loops we can set up, figure out what your trigger is and then what you need to do to respond to that trigger. I think I mentioned this the last time is I walk in the door at four o'clock, 4.15 and I'm hungry. So I try to time a fueling for that time so it's normal for me to eat. And I'm not always truly hungry. I'm just walking in my house where there's food. So that's a little habit loop I've tried to work on or the setting your um, running shoes beside your bed. If your first thing in your morning is gonna be to go for a walk or a run, that kind of thing. So you don't have another choice. So Rita, that's all I had. Um, do you have some other things you'd prep to share with us or anything we need to talk about before we finish up? I do not. I think our challenge is going great. I'm enjoying um, seeing all of the lean and green posts and all the non-scale victory posts and and shout out to Heather or uh, Dina who hit uh, 20 pounds. So, you know, I'm just, um, I, it's just a joy to be able to do this with you guys. So, so thank you for, for carrying the torch for us, Kathy. So it worked fine, didn't it? It did. Yay. <laughs> thank right. you. Yeah. Thanks everybody. We'll, we'll end a little early tonight. Coaches, do we need to stay on for a minute? Maybe she can't unmute herself. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to stop the recording. Or, yeah. For some reason, I minimize.